Hey guys, it's Rumba here. Today we're going to be making part two of the tier list video for Five Nights at Freddy's. Originally, I made a difficulty on all the characters in Ultimate Custom Night based on their difficulty in 5020, and you guys thoroughly enjoyed that video. So I thought I'd make a part two with the original five games because, you know, Pizzeria Sim doesn't really have a max mode. So yeah, we're going to be doing one through five, starting with Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So yeah, for the difficulties, uh, we're going to start by just talking about this real quick. This person that made this template included Endo, so he's just here and I don't know why this is in the list. This game is pretty easy, so I have easy, mid, hard. So first off, we have Freddy. This is not going to be Power Adage Freddy. This is just going to be Door Freddy, who is actually um, easy unless you're doing the hard strat, but we're gonna be talking about the easiest way to do it, um, which is just leaving the camera on O2 and Freddy just chills there, unless you open the door and change cameras. The only time you need to change cameras is to check on Foxy, but all you have to do is shut the right door to do that. So he's really easy, honestly. I don't, I've never had any problems with him. Next, we have I'm, I have Golden Freddy here because he was included. I'm going to use him to show off Power Outage Freddy. So yeah, Power Out Freddy. He has a random amount of time to kill you. I'm not entirely sure how long it can go, but he can kill you awfully quick. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him in mid because honestly, he can, he can take like 50 seconds or he can take like 10 seconds. I've beaten it multiple times without power outing, but it's pretty hard to do that. So uh, he's still a big factor in the night, but I'll put him in mid. Next character is Bonnie, who is also mid tier. So for Bonnie in the night, the easiest version of the night, you just sit there and check only Bonnie's door throughout the night. All you have to do is just wait until he's there and then close the door and then flip the camera twice and by then you should hear him leave and you can open the door so it's quite easy to do bonnie i'm all i'm reluctantly putting him in a mid because he could pretty easily go in easy next we have chica who um like i said you're staring only at bonnie's door throughout the night so the only time chica shows up is if you see her on the camera since you're checking cam 02 which is i think it's 02 uh, with Freddy, anytime Chica's ready to attack, she'll show up in that camera. So then you know to look over there. So once again, Chica is probably down here and easy with Freddy because she rarely actually attacks the door. Usually if you see her in that cam, there's like a 50% chance she'll attack. And then 50% chance she'll just actually just not go that way and just go back. So Chica's pretty easy. Now the difficulty curve in this game is not very hard. This game is incredibly easy. But I would put Foxy in hard, considering all things, because Foxy, all you have to do is lift the camera up every once in a while, and he can move however he wants, however he feels, whenever he wants, and sometimes he can just fuck up your entire run. There are some runs when Foxy just doesn't come at all, like I got 8% power left one time, and Foxy didn't come that a single time that night. So yeah, this is my Five Nights at Freddy's 1 list. Um, let's move on to FNAF 2. So here's Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Um, let's go over the difficulties really quick. We have Extreme, which these characters are just the fucking run killers. Uh, they can make the night pretty much just impossible. We have Pretty Hard, which are just characters that really screw up the, any cycle you have. Annoying and hard characters, which is where most characters are going to place because the characters in this game really really love to work together and Honestly makes this night harder than any other night except for 5020 and then we have easy Which is pretty much a useless category except for one character So first up is actually the first three up because we're gonna put withered Freddy withered Bonnie and Wither Chica all in this category because all they do is what they will do is they'll just show up in your room and you have to put the mask on really really fast they can actually force your camera down while you're in it or when you put your camera down just flick the mask on really fast they're not difficult but they're just annoying and they like to throw off the cycle I'm gonna skip a little bit ahead and say Withered Freddy does the exact same thing now that's it for the blackout characters. Next we have Withered Foxy, who I'm putting in pretty hard. Um, it's just because you have to make sure he's in check before you do anything else. Like every time you put your camera down, you have to make sure you flash him a 
few times because you can get trapped and after a blackout you can just get jump scared instantly once you take the mask off because foxy is on a really strict like time constraint before he kills you so you always have to be on your game with flashing him next character we have is toy bonnie top two character in the night by far toy bonnie can make your night just completely impossible um there is no 100 percent that you're gonna beat the night because toy bonnie is genuinely just he can just sit there in the vent and not move and if he doesn't move for long enough the puppet will just kill you because on your cycle usually you're gonna get a blackout and after a blackout you don't have time you have to flash foxy and go wind up the music box you don't have time to deal with toy bonnie staying there for at least five seconds so yeah i'm putting him in extreme next we have toy chica which is going in annoying and hard because what they do is toy chica will sit in the left vent along with balloon boy and like i said normally you have a blackout and with a blackout if someone is in the left or right vents everyone except for toy bonnie they will leave after a specific amount of time which is like half a second more than a blackout so after a blackout just sit with your mask on for like half a second more and every vent character except for toy bonnie will leave so i i should put just mangle there too but mangle's easier than everyone here because mangle makes a noise so you know when she's there when she leaves golden freddy's easy golden freddy never shows up and if he does you're already putting on the mask for these guys so he's easy honestly and then the final character is puppet and obviously puppet is the hardest character in the game because of all these characters all these characters are basically there just to prevent you from winding the music box so yeah this is my list for five nights at freddy's 2 let's move on to five nights at freddy's 3 okay so to get started we have our tiers which i have fucking three because honestly it was harder to make these fucking tiers than to beat the goddamn max mode so we have the actually difficult characters which are the, are the characters that are really the main problems annoying as fuck most of the characters um just the characters that aren't actually difficult and aren't not a problem just have their own category of just being annoying then we have characters that aren't a problem. Let's start off with Springtrap, who goes in actually difficult, obviously, because this motherfucker is the only character that can kill you. And when he's on aggressive and nightmare, he is just so fucking fast that it's hard to keep him at bay at all. Or if you're going with the easy strat, he's the only character that does anything in the fucking night. Um, so yeah, I put him in actually difficult. Next we have Phantom Freddy who is annoying as fuck because at some random points he can show up and say like you're waiting for spring trap at the end of the night where his head's poking out uh phantom freddy can just decide that's that's his time that he wants to jump scare you because he's an asshole next we have phantom chica who is not a problem i don't think i've ever came across her in a night so yeah i'm gonna put her in not a problem Next we have Phantom Foxy who's probably top tier for annoying as fuck because when you're going over to the left side of the screen Phantom Foxy can just show up whenever he pleases and you gotta be really fast reaction time of you know swinging your mouse back to the right so yeah I would put him in annoying as fuck. Next we have Phantom Mangle another character who I have never actually witnessed in game before so I'm gonna put her at not a problem because I've never found her to be difficult whatsoever. Next we have Phantom Puppet, who would, is actually difficult, um, because if you're tracking down Springtrap and you click on Cam 08, no matter what, if you click on Cam 08, your aggressive nightmare run is pretty much over. The time Springtrap takes to get to you is like the same as Puppet being there, so if you click on Cam 08 and Puppet happens to be there, the run's basically dead. And lastly we have Phantom Balloon Boy, who is just annoying as fuck. Whenever you open the cameras, you're you're flicking through them really fast anyway, so he's really not a problem. But I'd still put him in annoying as fuck because he can still show up. But yeah, I think it's time we move on to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. <laughs> Alright, time for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So to go over the uh, 
difficulties real quick. We have unfair, which are characters that are genuinely just not fair at all. Difficult characters, which is pretty much hard. Ech, which is mid difficulty. And quite easy, which is just easy difficulty. All right, to start off with Nightmare Freddy, he's the only character I'm gonna put in quite easy because once you're on a cycle, um, Nightmare Freddy is always taken care of. He's pretty much never ever a problem. So yeah, I'd put him in quite easy. I also forgot to mention the Halloween versions and minigame characters. I don't know shit about these three characters in FNAF 4. I just know that I'd put Mangle here because she just makes the loud static noise all night. And I don't remember playing either of these very much. So Next we have Nightmare Bonnie, who I would put in eh, along with Nightmare Chica for the same reason. They both just move at random intervals at the doors, and if you hear the breathing, shut the door until they go away. Like I said with Freddy, you're on a cycle, and the cycle usually works with them, but very rarely can just break. And if you fuck up once, uh, you pretty much fucked up the rest of the night, and they're gonna kill you. Next up, we have Nightmare Foxy, who's going to go into Difficult, because I think out of the Cycle characters, Funtime Foxy genuinely just can fuck up your run if he feels like it. He's very different than the other characters. He's the character that needs the most attention out of everybody, because he takes longer to leave, but like he also moves faster, so Foxy is just incredibly annoying. He also actually starts in the hallway, and you'll have to actually let him get in before he can start, but once he gets in, the real night begins. Lastly, we have good old Nightmare, who is entirely unfair. So for Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear, you listen for footsteps, laughing, just, you know, a whole bunch of audio cues. Nightmare throws that out the window, and you just have to basically guess, which is why people like Markiplier had such a hard time with it. So yeah, that's my list for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Let's head on to Sister Location Custom Night. Five Nights at Freddy! So let's start off with the tiers. We actually have the tiers of the Custom Night difficulties. So we have Easy, Normal, Hard, and Very Hard. You guys already know what they mean, so let's get on to the first character. First character we have is Funtime Freddy, who we're going to put in Normal. Funtime Freddy's pretty simple. Well, here where he is at the beginning of the night, and you're gonna wanna have your cursor on that side of the room, uh, and you're gonna wanna track him through the night as he moves, but his main mechanic is sending Bonbon bon to come get you, and you're gonna wanna listen to whether he says, hey Bonbon, bon, go get you, or get ready for a surprise, because if he says, hey Bonbon, bon, go get him, he'll just send Bonbon bon on this door that you are currently looking at, and if he says, get ready for a surprise, it'll be the opposite door. So Funtime Freddy is easy to hear, and he's easy to deal with, so I'm putting him in normal. Next we have Ballora, who I would put also in between hard and normal, but I'm going to put her in hard because... So Ballora's mechanic is being either in the left or right hall, and her music gradually gets louder until she jump scares you or you shut the door. It's pretty hard to tell when she's at her kill stage, but... Eventually you'll get it down, but with all the chaos going around, sometimes it's hard to remember it. So that's why I'm putting her in hard. Next is Funtime Foxy, who I'm putting right in the very hard spot, because you have to constantly be checking the cameras for them, because they will just randomly run, like, whenever they feel like. It's all, it's, it's become a common occurrence with the Foxies in the series, to just do whatever they feel like doing and not listening to the rules. You have to be looking at the camera so like frequently for Funtime Foxy if they're on 20. Their intervals are really really low and if you're not on the camera they will move. I'm still unsure to this day if Funtime Foxy drains that much power. Uh, I know they do but I just don't know how much but Funtime Foxy gave me so much trouble during the night. Next we have Bonnet which is going to go in normal with Funtime Freddy because Bonnet simply just walks across the screen and then you gotta boop her on the nose. Pretty simple character. But when she's on 20, she's really fast and it's sometimes pretty hard to click on the nose. Next we have Yendo, who is another character in Very Hard. He is easily the hardest character in the night by far because you're opening the camera very, very frequently to check on Funtime Foxy and Yendo will keep spawning. 
which when Yendo's in the room, when Yendo's in the room, he drains oxygen and at a certain point you just you just can't see after a while and it makes it pretty hard when you can't see, you know. Next we have Biddy Bab who's going to actually go in hard with Ballora because Biddy Bab's sound cues are actually very hard to hear with all the chaos going around. So you just got to like listen very carefully for when you hear that vent boom sound and once you hear that sound you know to shut the vent next we have electro bab which is an easy tier he appears on the side of the building that funtime freddy isn't on which is pretty easy to remember since you're always tracking funtime freddy uh so yeah all electro bab does is very slowly drain your power but it's not really a problem at all Next we have Mini Arenas 1, who are on the same cycle as Electro Bab. All they do is drain your oxygen. So they're a little bit harder than Electro Bab, but still an easy character. They're on the same cycle as Electro Bab, so you're getting them both at the same time. They're just pretty easier characters to get once you just shock them. Next we have Mini Arenas 2, which I'm going to put in normal because Mini Arenas 2 make it hard to see. So sometimes you don't know if Yendo's there or where Bonnet is on screen, making it hard to click them. So Mini Arenas 2 just likes to screw up your interface and whatnot. Then we have Lulbit, who I'm on the fence. I don't know whether to put Lulbit in easy or normal, but I think I'm going to stick with easy because all you have to do is reach over and press LOL. The only thing Lulbit does is make it so you can't use anything, but Lulbit never actually usually gets their final form because all you have to do is just reach over and press LOL. It's really fast and easy to take care of, so it's never really a problem. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Good to the bye.